What's up guys, just made it to Lancaster. We got Chris pulling in. I got here with the Dale truck. I've always wanted to bracket race this thing. So we're getting ready for our first round of time trials. I'm guessing we're gonna probably do about 11.30, 11.40. She's got 265,000 miles on her. She's tired, but the name of the game is being consistent. So like and subscribe. Let's get into this, some Lancaster Speedway bracket racing. All right, Chris has the GoPros hooked on. It's not gonna be spectacular, but man, if you're a drag racer, and you went years with racing and then you take a season off, man, I miss this. I don't care that I'm in a pile. It just feels so good to be back out here and be doing this. Oh, let's see what she does. Maybe I can try to catch a decent light. Man, that guy's kind of like hers. in the lanes for time trial number two my first light was terrible i had like a nine something bulb you're not gonna win any rounds with that light so we're gonna make another time trial run here i'm gonna push the bulbs a little bit because that's really how you win races bracket racing is you want to be consistent but you need to be able to cut a light so wish me luck folks we got my man christopher over there filming let's do it Okay guys, so with family showing up to watch me race and catching up with old drag strip friends, I didn't get to get all the video footage that I wanted. Um, I know this is kind of sloppy to throw this in there after the fact, but whatever it is what it is. Um, going into round one, the truck ran like an 11.23 and then 11.20 in the two time trials, but my lights were total garbage. So I wanted to have that little bit of a window to maybe help me out, get this truck down the track and get around win. So I dialed back a little bit, also known as sandbagging, and uh, I put a 22 on the window and uh, this is that race, so let's check it out. I ended up running like an 80s Monte Carlo with like an 850 dial. The guy was running multiple classes, so props to him, that's not easy to do, but this is that race. <laughs> GoPro died. I died on 1122. The driver next to me dialed like an 850. He couldn't sit. He couldn't wait. He red lighted, um, which is great because I've been having terrible lights on this thing. Um, I went 1119 on 1122 dial in. Um, I knew that I saw the red bulb uh, and I knew I won. So, you know, keep it to the wood. First is the worst in bracket racing. He red lighted so you can break out. Breaking out's where you run under your dial in. So, Woo! On to round two, and I needed that time trial. So let's stay into it and let's see what happens. It'd be hilarious if this turd went all the way in one. All right, going into round two, I got a Mustang GT with a 970 dial in, and I ran an 1120. Well, I'm dialing an 1120, so let's see what I can do. I got to step my game up against this guy. I think he's pretty good. His car's all lettered up, so he must be a regular. Um, so we will see what happens here, folks. <laughs> Ryan comes back and takes over the blue branch. Pick up the truck.
I screwed up. I had a terrible light. I had like a 7.2 bulb. The other guy had like a five something bulb and I ran a 25 on my 20 dial in. So the guy caught me, easy win for him in the Mustang. But this was such a blast, such a good feeling to come back out here on Friday nights. I miss bracket racing. I'm gonna do a how to bracket racing video coming up because some of you guys might not understand what you're seeing in this video. But like and subscribe. We might be bringing this turd back out and hopefully go some rounds. See you next time, folks. I know this bracket racing video is not our best work and I'm really sorry about that but I really want to do more bracket racing stuff more drag racing stuff because we've done a lot of street shenanigans a lot of burnouts some off-roading but I've never really done a lot of drag strip stuff and that's a big part of me before this channel I was really into bracket racing and drag racing so if you like the bracket racing or you like the idea of me going to Lancaster or Empire and bracket racing and filming some of my competitors comment below or like and subscribe let me know but speaking of drag racing, I am on TikTok. That's not important. You don't got to do much with that. But I did enter a little contest and I did win something. So I want to show you guys that right now. So he did a little contest where he got this license plate off a car. And he said, hey, get a picture of your drag car and you and a piece of paper that says 60 foot and I'll mail it to you. And I was the first one to do it. And he's a man of his word. His name's like Junkyard Car Guy Aloha on TikTok. So if you have a TikTok, check him out. Give him a follow, but yeah, man of his words, sent me this 60 foot plate. Very cool. Like and subscribe. Let me know if you guys want to see more bracket racing and drag racing videos on this channel. Thank you.